Hello, my name is Klaus Ankerson from Denmark. I just published my second collection of poetry in India. Uh, it's called River of Man is Travel Poetry. I'm not going to read from that today. I'm going to read some Corona poetry, three pieces. And thank you for the invitation, uh, Rati, and uh, very happy to be here with you. First one is called Mostly Unreal. Like in a bad dream or some sick disaster movie, we walk into the valley of death together, separately, connected in the hearts by electronic means, together, separately, a new society in the shadow of the Corona King. It is the reality which isn't exactly what it used to be, frayed at the edges, thin at the top, wandering off on thin legs on the reverse side of the screens. It's hard to take it seriously. Like King Plague or King Lear, reality is mostly real in fictitious form, in film or as a graph, a picture of overcrowded hospitals in Wuhan, New York or Milan, and the oddly deserted spots in front of a godless St. Peter's Basilica in a dead Venice, screamingly devoid of humans deep in a subway station or at street level at an airport. Now there is only life in the supermarket, a church of hidden scowls where we take a look at the others, each the lead in our own zombie movie seven minutes in. Not shiver, elbow bump, cough lurkingly and hurry away with toilet paper, yeast and cereal, a lot of butter and a box of cheap wine to the car, away to safety at home, in the nuclear bunker of the apartment where we bench in the situation room and once again face reality and I the number of the beast behind the screen flicker and continuous updates. The intuitive certainty that the number of the beast grows exponentially like the world's artificial debt, that the world and the days seem numbered and that nothing will ever be as it was. In our foggy memory of yesterday and last month and last year it hurts but it's good and legal, a cause for slight comfort eating, just because we've earned it. Oh yes, we've earned it, especially now, where the sun really comes out to play. After all, we all know someone in quarantine like ourselves, voluntary according to the letter of the law, we stand together separately. Second piece I would like to share with you is called The Planet of Greenhorns. All we hope for is the gold at the end of the rainbow. All we hope for is the rainbow, that it'll pass again, that we can return, that the great master director in heaven says cut and thanks and done, so we can shake our heads and leave the set, put up our coats and hike out of the studio and back. All we hope for is that everything can be as it was, on second thought, that it gets better. Everything has to get better. When things have to change, may it be for the better. We need to be better to each other, better to the animals in cages and slaughterhouses, better to the world and to nature. We need to make less of a mess and buy much less. All we hope for is a fairer society, with more for everyone and with enough for all needs to be met so we can make love and love some more and love even more than that, so time will again grow round and steady, so infinity will fall from above and come live in our hearts where it belongs. All we hope for are handshakes, big hocks and kisses. All we hope for is love, friendship, closeness, solidarity. All we hope for is the great fraternization, fully automated luxury and paradise. All we hope for is paradise, 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 paradise. Even on weekdays, paradise now. The third and final piece I would like to share is called The Wind. In those days, the corona blew across the lands. The winds of climate change stayed at home. In the days the corona blew, lungs sputtered and white, the sun stood still and waited. Home in the caves, everybody held their breath, so it wouldn't suddenly be pulled out. In those days, the corona blew over the lands. Everyone folded their hands, looked up, 
and said yes to everything except insubordination. Thank you. See you again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.